Okay, there are three different pieces of hardware that we'll be using for 3200 Lab A1. The first piece is these custom built skin modules, and we'll have a lot more details on these in the following videos. You can take a picture of this QR code, and that will direct you to the spin module website for more details. There will also be links to that in the follow up videos. The second piece of hardware is this physical rate gyro. There's a small DC motor here supported on two counter opposing springs that support the DC motor and the housing. The DC motor is fed with a battery pack, two AA batteries inside of this pack. When you turn the switch on, the motor actuates, spinning the mass that's attached to the shaft of the DC motor. This is probably fairly difficult to see from far away, and we'll have an accompanying video that shows the operation up close. The next setup is a control moment gyro, which will use this rim-loaded heavy bicycle wheel spun up with this electric motor to spin the wheel to get some angular momentum, and you will stand on this green rotating platform. We have an accompanying video that shows the general operation and the behavior of this system. I'll do a quick demonstration here to show you the basic concept. So having a partner, spin up the wheel with the motor to gain sufficient angular momentum. Stand on the green platform and apply a torque to the wheel. To observe. The first two aspects of this lab involve using the custom-made satellite spin module analogs that we've developed over the last few years here in the aerospace department. For the first portion of the lab experiment, we will apply a torque to the reaction wheel motor. That torque will then cause the base of the satellite to spin like this, and that rotation will be read by a MEMS gyroscope, and we will record and observe the spin about the axis perpendicular to this red board, which also corresponds to the rotation axis of the platform. The second aspect of the lab will apply a torque to the reaction wheel motor, and you'll observe the speed of the reaction wheel motor, and thus the reaction wheel mass to that applied torque, using the Hall effect sensors, which are housed on this board here, 
that it also controls the reaction wheel motor. I'd also like to spend a few moments here to discuss the overall operation of the spin module. There are three processors in the spin module system. The first will be the user operator at the lab station. We have videos posted on the general operation of the software. The computer is connected through a USB cable, which is in communication with this gray box down here. This is a National Instruments MyRio, which is the second processor in the system. This is the same processor that controls the control arm units from the 2003 experiment from the springtime. This box here, the MyRio, has a processor running, um, which communicates with several things on the base station here. The first thing that it communicates with is this motor on the base. This is a 30 watt motor that is connected to a shaft, which the shaft connects all the way up through the train down here, and then that is what holds the spin module in place. On that shaft, there's also an encoder so we can read the true rotation, rate, and position of the base of the satellite. The base MyRio also communicates with a motor controller. Down here, the third piece of electronics that the MyRio on the base communicates with is this XB radio. This XB radio is sending and receiving packets to and from the MyRio, which is in communication with the host computer. The other end of the MyRio wireless communication chain is with this XB radio up top. These two XB radios are in communication with each other on the same channel, thus avoiding crosstalk between other satellites in the environment. And now we'll move on to discuss the operation of things at the top of the satellite. There are several different items on the top of the satellite that I would like to point out. First, we will start with the upper XB radio that I pointed out in the previous part of this video. All of these electronics are in communication with an Arduino Due, which is housed underneath this custom green PCB. In this view, you can see the custom PCB stacked on top of the Arduino Due. The red board, as I pointed out before, is a full 9-axis IMU inertial measurement unit. We are only reading information about the Z-axis of the gyroscope. This board over here is a motor controller board that is in communication with the reaction wheel through this series of cables. There are Hall effect sensors which give us speed information about the reaction wheel and it also controls the torque applied through the reaction wheel. These two boards pointed out on the right hand side of the custom PCB are DC DC voltage converters which take the battery pack voltage, this 9 volt series of batteries, and either boost the voltage to 24 volts which powers the motor or it converts the voltage down to a steady regulated 12 volts to power the Arduino Due and all other electronics. 